Hello, my name is Igor and approximately half years ago I had that experiment what 3D printing material to use inside the car. Some kind of temperature test. And there I showed the results from Arduino data logger and I promised that I'll explain that uh, setup later in a separate video. And uh, to be honest, I a little bit forget about it and uh, recently one of the comments kindly remind me. So uh, here it is, better uh, later than never. In this video I explained that uh, Arduino temperature data logger I used. First let, let's check the hardware I will need for this uh, project. Mm, of course the primary uh, equipment is uh, Arduino Uno board. I will need a micro SD card adapter. And of course a micro SD card, this one is one gigabyte. And two temperature sensors, these are LM35DZ. Uh, more about them later and of course later uh, when I want to uh, read the data from the card I will need somehow to plug to the computer so I need this adapter and of course breadboard uh, some jumper wires and a USB cable to plug to with the computer and of course I have to install the Arduino software to my computer I will use a computer only uh, during the programming and developing phase but the final version I will just give it the power and uh, it should work uh, independently from the computer. And uh, usually I want to check uh, the main uh, parts one by one. So let's start first with the LM35DZ sensors. According to data sheet, uh, when I watch from the bottom, uh, this is the ground and this one is uh, VCC and the middle is the signal. Now the voltage uh, variates, uh, it can be between uh, I think 4 and uh, 30 volts, but of course from Arduino it will get 5 volts. And in function of, of this voltage uh, and the temperature, I can read the uh, voltage on the middle pin. The wiring is very simple, I first always uh, get the 5 volt and the ground to these two rails on the breadboard, and from this I will give the power to the sensor. So now nothing happened, only the power is given to the, the two pins of the sensor and now the, the middle pin will be connected to the analog input on the Arduino. Mm, probably you will see everything better on this uh, Fritzing diagram. But now everything is connected, now I have to connect it with the computer and upload the test software. Sample code and wiring I used is from Arduino Project Hub website. A link to this page is in the description of the video. Let's analyze a little bit this code. First, uh, two variables will be used here in this code. Uh, and uh, this one is the analog inputs, I will change it to zero because I want to plug into analog input zero. Then uh, the setup, here uh, the serial in output is prepared so uh, I can see the results on the screen of my computer. And here start the loop, the cycles which is repeated continuously. Uh, in first uh, row uh, it reads the value from the analog uh, input. And it's the number between 0 and 1023. And then uh, this with this equation it's converted to the millivolts. And uh, if I divide it by 10, then I get the value in Celsius. And of course here is the equation to convert into Fahrenheit, but uh, I will not uh, need this. Only in Excel, the final results I will convert to Fahrenheit too. And then next few rows, rows are for the serial print. So this will print the results on the screen of the computer. And uh, print LN, this means start a new line. And to avoid uh, a loop repeating too fast, uh, there is a delay of uh, one second. And it's time to upload the code to the Arduino and see if it is working correctly. I'm opening the serial monitor and I can see data from sensor and it is raising if I hold it with my finger so it works correctly. And now I am adding the second sensor and again the power will be from this rail. And 
and the middle pin will be connected to the Arduino analog one. And now let's modify the code a little bit. Nothing special about this code. I only added these rows uh, you can see here in the comment for the reading uh, the second sensor, which is attached to the analog one. And again, I'm saving and uploading the code to the Arduino, opening the serial monitor to follow the readed values. And on the serial monitor, I have now two sensors reading same values. Let's see the first one. If I hold it, the temperature goes up. So uh, the sensors are working and the code is working. And now uh, let's test the micro SD card adapter, but only this separately. And then I will connect everything together. As you see, uh, it has uh, six pins. The first two are VCC and ground, and then uh, we have the SPI communication pins, these four. But uh, it's much easier if I download some sample code and then modify it later. Now, SD card adapter can be used with a breadboard, and then you have to use this mail to mail jumper wires. Or you can use this uh, male female jumper wires and then you can connect the micro SD card adapter directly to the Arduino by this way and then this goes to the Arduino. So the power and the ground is connected to these rails. Those are the first two pins on the micro SD card adapter and then I have to connect uh, the wires for the SPI communication, those four pins. And they will be connected here to the digital inputs. This sample code and wiring is also from Arduino Project Hub website. Here you can see the direct wiring between Arduino and SD card module. And now let's copy the code. Let's analyze this sample code from the Arduino Project Hub. So these first two rows are for uh, external libraries. SPI is for the communication and SD is uh, for the SD card module. Then uh, the my file uh, variable is defined. And here is the setup void, which runs only once. Uh, in this row, the serial output is prepared. So I can see some uh, lines on my screen. And uh, then it is uh, initializing the SD card. And if uh, it doesn't success, then it's it written on the screen that it's failed, or uh, it, it writes that uh, it's done. And here the, starts the communication with SD card. So first the test.txt file will be created if it doesn't exist. Uh, for writing, if it is, exists, then it will be uh, text will be added to it. And uh, then it writes uh, to the screen, writing to text.txt. And uh, these uh, commands are writing to this uh, text file on the SD card. Uh, and also some numbers will be written. So from 0 to 19 uh, will be written in this uh, text, uh, text file. Print ln means after every writing starts a new line. And then very important, closing the file. And it writes on the screen, then it's done. Otherwise, it writes error opening this uh, file. And uh, when it's finished, uh, so this runs only once, and there is nothing in the loop in this sample file. After uploading the code and opening the serial monitor, I should see here only two rows of text. But more info will be written in that uh, txt file. Now let's see what's on SD card. And now let's open this text file. And yes, those two rows of text and number from 0 to 19. And for the final test, I want to attach these two sensors again, but not over the breadboard because uh, I need them uh, on different locations. So I will connect them with these two uh, with these jumper wires, uh, male to fe female, but it doesn't go inside. 
is actually it doesn't stay inside too easily so so I will bend these wires a little bit and it will have a good connection now and now let's connect the other side so this is the final setup uh, the sensors are now attached to the wire separately and also I will extend them because uh, one of the sensor I need outside of the card and the other will be inside. Now I'm adding temperature sensor reading to the SD card uh, sample code. And this is the final code where I combine uh, these two codes together. Here are the sources inside this but also you can download this from my website. Uh, again, first two rows are for SPI communication and SD card libraries. These are required for SD card uh, module adapter. And uh, these are preparing the values for the sensor. So these are connected to analog 0 and analog 1. And then this function, save temperature. I created this function, but it will be executed only when I call it for, from later code. So it requires uh, two values, C1 and C2, and then it will write this C1 and C2 to temp.log.txt file. But first, uh, what will be written in this file? It will be written one row, but this row starts with the uh, millis. These are milliseconds since Arduino is started because I want this temperature data logger to know when is data recorded. And if I know when I powered the Arduino, from that I can calculate the exact time when uh, this row is written. So it will start with these milliseconds. Then it will use these characters for horizontal tabulator. I like to use this uh, horizontal tabulator because with this I can just copy paste the text file to the Excel and it knows that uh, with this character it will separate the cells automatically, the values into different cells. Uh, then of course it writes the C1 value and again a horizontal tabulator and the C2. But after C2 it starts a new line so that's why here I have a print ln function. And of course, very important, I am closing the file in this function. But, but as I mentioned, this function will be called only in the function, uh, only in later code. Okay, let's see the setup. Uh, this is uh, from the micro SD card sample file. So uh, these, uh, this is preparing the serial output. In development phase, I want to see some information on the screen too. And uh, if everything is okay, then it uh, it will start with a loop. Otherwise, it will uh, write that initialization is failed of the SD card module. And then the loop, which always run continuously, uh, this uh, part of the code. So uh, I'm reading the values from the uh, analog. Uh, zero and analog one and uh, I convert them the, to the millivolts and then to the Celsius and same with the second sensor and uh, these informations are only written in on screen in development phase so I want to check that everything runs correctly and then the, here is the function I'm calling it so save temperature cell one and then cell two so th these two values are uh, sent to this function and this function will write these uh, two numbers uh, as a one row added to the file and then uh, i'm waiting in this case uh, one minute and then it runs the loop again so every one minute it will record the milliseconds and the two values from the temperature sensor okay it works Let's check the data on the SD card and then I can go outside and uh, place it inside the card. I also want to check how many current it requires this setup. <laughs> Not measurable. Below 0 0.01 amps. It's winter here now in uh, Hungary, so to get some uh, results I will heat up uh, inside the car maybe to 20, over 20 degrees Celsius and then I will start the Arduino data logger and to see how will it uh, reduce to outer temperature. So 
So the car is heated up. I can now uh, start the Arduino. I just give it the power. And now it's working. Uh, now it is 12.45. So this is the inner sensor and the other sensor is uh, outside. Uh, but don't forget uh, you cannot use uh, super long uh, wires here. Uh, because this is analog uh, sensor for that uh, you can use something like DS18 uh, I think that's the digital type of the sensor and uh, I will be back now in half hours and to see uh, how temperature change inside the car exactly half hours passed I can see sensor is still here And now I can stop by pulling this out the power. And now let's see what's on the SD card. Here is the templog.txt file. I'll just copy all these values, copy paste into Excel. Actually, I'm using here Google spreadsheet because my Microsoft Excel is in Hungarian and this one is in English. So these are in, uh, values in milliseconds. This is a value from temperature sensor one and this is T2. So here I will need a seconds. So I will just uh, divide it by 1000, but I, I will round the number. And as you can see, the time difference between two uh, values is not exactly one minute because the delay was one minute, uh, but there are some operations before that. If you need exactly the same, for example, every two seconds, uh, the data uh, recording, in that case, you should use uh, do while cycles following the value of the millis uh, function. Okay, so these are in seconds and uh, values of the temperatures are in degree of Celsius, but accuracy of this uh, sensor is a half degree. So there is no need for this confusing uh, decimal places. So I will just round it to the half uh, degrees. So uh, round, I will multiply this with two and divide with two. In that case, it is rounded to the half degrees. Let's copy in this way. So I'm se selecting my values, insert chart, and uh, okay, not exactly what I want, because uh, on x-axis I want the seconds, and uh, I want to remove the seconds from the x-axis, and well, this is it, okay, this is a chart, uh, column ch chart, maybe I should switch it to the line, yes, this is much better. Well, one more thing, if I want here uh, values in Fahrenheit, for example, T1 in Fahrenheit, in that case, uh, I'm using a bracket. I'll, this number has to be multiplied with 9, uh, divided by 5, close the bracket and add uh, 32. And just copy this value. And now this is in Fahrenheit. And it's interesting to see that in half hours, the temperature inside the car cooled down only maybe eight or nine degrees Celsius outside it was very cold so to get the equal temperature inside and outside maybe it would need mm, one and a half hours well this is my first Arduino project video I don't know was it too complicated or too simple uh, any feedback is welcome anyway on my website you can uh, found the schematic of the wiring and also the final code and uh, this is the video where I use this results of this uh, Arduino data logger. And uh, there will be more similar videos. Uh, some of them are related with 3D printing. And uh, I hope you will follow me to that video too. Until that, thank you for watching. Bye.